SmartDraw is the fastest, easiest way to draw floor plans. Whether you're a seasoned expert or if you've never drawn a floor plan before, SmartDraw gives you everything you need. We'll choose Residential Floor Plan to start from scratch. All of the tools you need to create the floor plan are here in the Smart Panel. Select the Wall tool and click once in your work area to begin the wall and once more to complete it. Continue adding more walls to create a closed room. This circle will appear at the end of a wall to help you connect it accurately. An anchor will appear if you're connecting adjacently to another wall. Click on Select or one of these other buttons at the top of the Smart Panel to turn off wall drawing. The Shape tool lets you add shapes that way. The Line tool lets you draw various line shapes. And the Text tool lets you add text anywhere in your floor plan. Using the Select tool, you can move your room around or drag walls using these black handles, changing the width and angles of the room you're working on. You can click on the measurements themselves and type to change sizing that way. You can adjust the placement of the measurement bars themselves using these black diamonds. Add doors and windows from the symbol library by simply dragging them to where you need them to go and they link neatly to the walls. Drag to adjust their sizes. From a vast array of libraries, you can easily add furnishings, appliances, and hundreds of other symbols. These distance guides help you position objects inside of rooms with precision. To search for any symbols that aren't already in your library, just type in this Search for Symbols box. The search results will be grouped by the libraries they were found in. Click on this plus sign to add the result that you searched for, or add the entire library of that symbol to your smart panel for future use. Just drag and drop the furnishings to where you want them to go in the room. Resize, rotate, or move objects around as you need to. If you move the entire room around, everything within it stays in place. You can rotate your entire floor plan using the round rotation handle on the right hand side of your floor plan outline. Click and hold the rotation handle and move your mouse around in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. If you add a room to a house or building, it snaps into place and the walls overlap seamlessly. If you drag an alcove wall level with the main room wall, it heals back into just one wall. When you right click on a wall, you're shown options to set wall thickness, change wall shape, add wall segment, and separate a wall, among other helpful options. You can also find these tools in the Adjust Wall palette here in the Smart Panel. In the Document Setup palette, you can change units and scale at any point while building your floor plan. You'll find several of the standard architectural, metric, and engineering options. You can also customize rulers and grids in this section, and choose your level of precision. You can also add a scale-independent annotation layer. Add the scale, author, and other information about the diagram just like you would in the page view in a traditional CAD program. This annotation layer automatically adjusts its size and position as the drawing area or paper size changes. Just click Remove Annotation Layer to get rid of it. The dimensions of your objects are shown by default. You can hide these by clicking off the Show Dimensions option here in the Dimensions and Area palette. The Measure Distance and Measure Area tools let you make measurements simply by clicking and dragging. As you make these measurements, the outlines stay there for you as a reference in your layout. Just select them and hit Delete if you want to remove them. Measurements are for the interior of a room or building by default. To change this, select the room and click on the Design tab up here in the main toolbar. If you click on Dimensions, you'll find an option to switch to an exterior measurement of your walls. There are other helpful dimension options here, like showing line angles. Like the other floor plan measurements, click on these angle degrees, type to change them, and the room adjusts accordingly. Click on the Insert button up here in the Home tab of the main toolbar to import an image. If you choose the Import as a Background Image option, 
The image is laid under your floor plan in the workspace. You could import a previous plan from a contractor, or perhaps a satellite image of your site, and use this as a guide while drawing your floor plan. Between the great looking examples and templates, hundreds of library symbols at your disposal, and the intuitive tools in the Smart Panel, you'll be creating detailed, professional looking floor plans in no time with SmartDraw.